here we are just on the outskirts of the spa race circuit with that i'm kind of lost for words i'm kind of out of breath just from the two minutes that i've driven it from the paddock to here we haven't even made it out that tunnel there is basically the perimeter of the track the track actually goes over that tunnel there but i wanted to start this video the first drive my first impressions bringing you guys a first hand experience of what it is like to drive that stunning bit of machinery there the first video that you saw was a bit of a joke bit of a tongue-in-cheek i had the opportunity and i had to take it no one wants to see my face at this point we all want to look at what is arguably the coolest car that is on public roads period the way that this car has been designed with the aero these huge sculpted vents all the way through the car those twin exhaust exit pipes that carbon fiber engine everything to do with this car when i saw it launched in 2015 at the detroit motor show blew my mind Every time I see this car, whether it be at a motor show, whether it be online, or whether it be standing right in front of me, it still continues and probably will continue to blow my mind. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm gonna level with you. I'm not gonna talk about many of the performance stats or figures or anything else that you can obtain from Google in this very moment for the next 10 to 15 minutes as I get behind the wheel for this car on public roads for the first time. I purely want to give you an emotional roller coaster of everything that I'm gonna be feeling as I get behind the wheel of this car. It has been three years of waiting from Detroit to get to this point i've asked ford on numerous occasions if there is ever an opportunity to drive that car then please please let me know and the guys at ford europe and ford performance have brought myself and alex to here spa the first time i've ever, ever done this and this, this is going to be the first time that I've ever done the Ford GT. So even though I'm kind of lost for words and I'm trying to do the best at giving you guys a well-rounded introduction, but also trying to think about what is just about to happen, let's just start this car up. The first few meters that we've got to do is a tunnel. So we're going to hear this EcoBoost V6 and then just get cracking. <laughs> I've got something to uh, tell you. What? You are going to be holding this camera the entire time because we cannot <laughs> put a GoPro on the front windscreen. Ford have gone to such extreme weight savings that they've gone for an iPhone-esque glass material. Great. Gorilla. Gorilla. Yeah. Gorilla glass. Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Gorilla, gr Gorilla glass. This is quite a tongue twister. Meaning that it is very, very strong, but it's very thin. So whilst GoPros are very easy to get on, Sometimes they crack when you take them off. Alex, would you like to do the honours? We've got a wide angle on the GoPro and this is all going to be handheld. So I think Alex, to uh, give your arm the best possible I think option. I need to brace myself. Yeah, but also just, just I think move the GoPro around a little bit. Let's have, yeah. a, let's have a fluid drive for this uh, incredible opportunity. So we start in drive. Obviously. Um, oh, we're in sport. Ooh. Let's put it in normal. Now, everything to do with the Ford GT road car is function. So there are no noise differences between normal and sport, literally. Oh. It's just the throttle response that picks up. So I'm going to probably have to talk quite loud because the first thing that I've picked up on is how loud the noise cabin is. Yes. How, no, how loud the cabin is. And I think that Ford are setting the bar in terms of unrefined raw supercars, yeah. which is what they were 10 years ago. And now, when I had my Lamborghini, even with an aftermarket exhaust system, it still felt quiet in the cabin with yeah. the windows up. <laughs> Oh, 
about this car or even on Google like everything is so accessible but the, the feeling of being handed the keys to such a special car on such a special weekend and just having complete free reign over what we are able to do with it and okay low speeds the steering is quite heavy just there when I was trying to make that junction the steering you get so much feel and feedback through and seeing as the last car that I drove quite a lot was obviously my C63 driving it here the steering on that is so light and you really don't get that much feel from it even in Sport Plus in its hardest setting this is so much more weighted it's just heavier which is what I love I get this amazing feel on the steering wheel Alcantara all around actually we've got LED shift lights up here a lot of the buttons are centered around the steering wheel because remember this 4 GT started life as a race car there's something incredibly special about this car and obviously it comes down to the racing pedigree and history that this car has provided with Ford but I think that there's something more special with with me and this car because it goes back to my YouTube history as well and I remember in the lead up to, to reaching a hundred thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel and I used to speak to people that were management companies, I used to speak to friends, I used to speak to other YouTubers, and they all said that when you hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, you start appearing on the radar of certain companies. Maybe they'll invite you to do different things, maybe they'll invite you for days out. And I didn't really believe that there was that mark, 100,000 subscribers, until I hit 100,000 subscribers, and literally within two weeks, I got invited to Detroit by Ford Europe to attend the Detroit Motor Show. Right at the end, they unveiled to the world the Ford GT. And I was there for that. And it was an incredibly special moment to be a part of that Ford history with Ford being invited there as a guest of Ford. And since then, Ford were the first company that ever reached out to me to invite me to Detroit. And since then, I've had a long and enjoyable working relationship with Ford. I've done some amazing things with Ford. With that story being said, to now be in the driver's seat <laughs> of a Ford GT, and this is, there's no there's no one else here, it's just us two. And I just, I just wanna thank Ford, yeah. like, because I don't really know what else to say. I'm doing 29 miles an hour in a 2017 Ford GT, and I don't care. But we do need to find some more country roads. single-minded car 
a race car for the road. The closest thing you've got to really think about is, is, a, is a McLaren. And I can't even get the seat controls to work in a McLaren. I don't even think people that work for McLaren know how the seat controls work. They're like down here, tucked in by the center console, buttons that you can never actually see visibly, that you just have to feel around. You know that the buttons are there, but then all of a sudden you just go zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> But even though Ford say that this is a race car for the road, we can have comfy suspension on, which actually makes a difference, that's the first time that I've pressed it. We're on the motorway, we're cruising. It's not that loud inside the cabin. It's certainly not uncomfortable. These seats, as I experienced in Los Angeles, are very, very, very comfy. And I just am loving and lapping up every minute that I get to drive this car, knowing that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I really don't believe that there will be another opportunity in this scenario. <laughs> oh. Do you want to do the brake test now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is <laughs> up on its nose. <laughs> oh my god. And there's ceramics so you can do that all day long. There's the raw and unrefined nature of this car. Wow. Because every, you feel everything. You feel everything. And I love it. I love that about this car. You feel connected to the road. You feel connected to the car. It's everything that you'd want in a supercar. And whilst I'm literally maxing out 10% of this car's capability and probably around 40 to 50% of my driving abilities capabilities, luckily there's a chap called Harry who's waiting at Spa who has given up some of his time. I'm gonna jump in a passenger seat of this and he's gonna take me for a lap around Spa. I think he, he, it's safe to say he knows it fairly well. I'm slowly coming to terms with what is going on today. Myself and Alex have just had the most <laughs> ridiculous day with that car behind, which is gonna drive past us very shortly. But we've just been filming a couple of extra shots with the Ford GT because we have learned some secrets, which is gonna be the following video because we're leaving Spa and heading down to Stuttgart. So we filmed some secrets that we have found out over the last 48 hours hanging out with Ford employees. But today, here we go. just looks ridiculous on the road and uh, it's been an amazing day I am fully aware of how privileged the position that we have been put in <laughs> possibly one of the worst timings of the battery to die but we did film a lot it's rare that my DSLR battery dies but it died on the worst bit but I feel like this video needed a final ending a send-off that it deserved I would just like to thank Ford for this incredible weekend because it will go down as one of the best memories that I've had since starting my YouTube channel as Detroit was and it will always be just that first experience with being invited somewhere to do something really cool 
and that was to watch the 4GT get launched, and now I'm in Spa, wristbands at the ready, ready for the six hours of Spa World Endurance Championship cheering the Ford Performance team on. I need to jump in my car and head over to the track now because it's, uh, it's a beautiful day. There's gonna be a lot of people there. The atmosphere is gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to experience my first race there. So uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Supercars of London if you haven't already. And make sure that if you are subscribed to click that notification bell because in a couple of days time, my C63, well tomorrow, we go to Stuttgart and I get my car tuned to, I believe, what is gonna be over 600 brake horsepower. So yeah. Safe to say there's going to be some pretty crazy content of that coming very soon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.